What is your morning routine? My morning routine is simple. I wake up at 7 a.m., brush my teeth, and then have breakfast. Usually, I eat toast with eggs and drink a cup of coffee. After breakfast, I take a shower and get dressed for work. I try to leave the house by 8 a.m. This routine helps me start the day feeling fresh and ready. How do you relax after a long day? After a long day, I relax by watching my favorite TV shows or reading a book. Sometimes, I listen to music or call a friend to talk. It helps me to forget about the stress of the day. Taking a warm bath is also nice. These activities help me to feel calm and happy. What is your favorite part of the day? My favorite part of the day is the evening. After finishing work, I have time for myself. I can do things I enjoy, like cooking a nice dinner or watching a movie. The evening is quiet and peaceful. It's the best time for me to relax and spend time with my family. How do you make your weekend special? To make my weekend special, I try to do different things. Sometimes I go to the park or visit a museum. I also like trying new restaurants with my friends. When the weather is good, I go for a hike or have a picnic. Doing these activities makes my weekends fun and memorable. What is one thing you wish you had more time for? I wish I had more time for traveling. There are so many places I want to see and different cultures I want to experience. Traveling is exciting and teaches you a lot. But it's hard to find enough time because of work and other responsibilities. I hope to travel more in the future. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. I love the combination of cheesy topping and tomato sauce. There are so many varieties, from classic margarita to pepperoni, and even vegetarian. Pizza is great because it's delicious and you can share it with friends. It always makes me happy. Can you cook a special dish? Yes, I can cook a special dish called spaghetti carbonara. It's an Italian pasta dish with bacon, eggs, and cheese. The secret is to mix the eggs and cheese well to make a creamy sauce without cooking the eggs too much. It's my go-to dish when I want to make something special for friends or family. What is the most unusual food you have ever tried? The most unusual food I've tried is sushi with raw fish. At first, the idea of eating raw fish was strange to me, but when I tried it, I was surprised by how fresh and tasty it was. Sushi is now one of my favorite foods. It's interesting how trying new foods can change your perspective. Do you prefer dining out or cooking at home? I prefer cooking at home. It allows me to experiment with different recipes and ingredients. Cooking is also a relaxing activity for me. While I enjoy trying new restaurants, making meals at home is more personal and satisfying. Plus, it's a good way to spend time with family. What is your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine is Mexican. I love the flavors and spices used in dishes like tacos, enchiladas, and guacamole. Mexican food is vibrant and delicious, with a great mix of textures and tastes. The use of fresh ingredients like tomatoes, chilies, and avocados makes it even better. What do you do? 
I work as a teacher. I help students learn new things and understand complex subjects. Teaching is rewarding because I get to see my students grow and succeed. Every day is different, and I enjoy creating lessons that are interesting and engaging. How do you feel about working from home? Working from home has its pros and cons. I like the flexibility and the comfort of being in my own space. However, it can be challenging to separate work from personal life. Finding the right balance is key. Overall, I appreciate the option to work from home when needed. What challenges do you face at work? One challenge I face at work is keeping up with all the changes in my field. It's important to stay updated with new methods and technologies. Another challenge is managing my time effectively, especially when I have multiple projects. Overcoming these challenges requires constant learning and good organization. How do you balance work and personal life? Balancing work and personal life is crucial. I try to set clear boundaries between work time and personal time. I make sure to schedule time for hobbies and relaxation. Staying organized and prioritizing my tasks helps me manage my time better. It's all about finding a healthy balance. What skills are important for your job? For my job, communication skills are essential. Being able to explain ideas clearly and listen to others is key. Creativity in designing engaging lessons is also important. Additionally, patience and adaptability are crucial in responding to the different needs of my students. These skills help me be a better teacher. Do you save money regularly? Yes, I try to save money regularly. Each month, I put a part of my salary into a savings account. This helps me prepare for the future and have money for emergencies. Saving a little bit every month makes me feel secure and responsible. What do you usually spend your money on? I usually spend my money on necessities like food, rent, and transportation. I also like to spend on books and travel when I can. I think it's important to enjoy life and experience new things, but I try to make sure I'm not spending too much. How do you budget your monthly expenses? To budget my monthly expenses, I track all my spending using an app. I set limits for different categories, like food, entertainment, and bills. This helps me see where my money goes and make sure I'm not overspending. Sticking to a budget helps me save money for my goals. What is your opinion on online shopping versus in-store shopping? I think both online shopping and in-store shopping have their advantages. Online shopping is convenient and lets you compare prices easily. But in-store shopping is good for seeing and trying products before buying them. I prefer online shopping for things I don't need to see first, like books or electronics. Do you invest in stocks or real estate? Right now, I'm starting to learn about investing in stocks. It seems like a good way to grow my savings over time. I'm still new to this, so I'm being cautious and learning as much as I can. Real estate could be an option in the future, but it requires a lot more capital. What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is reading. I love getting lost in a good book, whether it's a thrilling mystery, a captivating novel, or an interesting piece of nonfiction.
Reading allows me to learn new things and explore different worlds from the comfort of my home. Have you tried any new activities lately? Yes, I recently started learning how to bake. It's been fun experimenting with different recipes and ingredients. There's something very satisfying about creating something delicious that others can enjoy. Plus, it's a great way to spend my free time. What is your favorite part of the day? My favorite part of the day is the evening. It's the time when I can unwind after a busy day, enjoy dinner, and spend quality time with my family or friends. The evening is when I feel most relaxed and at ease. How do you make your weekend special? I make my weekend special by doing things I don't have time for during the week. This could be going for a hike, visiting a museum, or simply having a leisurely brunch. I try to break the routine and do something that makes me happy and relaxed. What is one thing you wish you had more time for? I wish I had more time for traveling. There are so many places I want to explore and cultures I want to experience. Traveling opens your mind and gives you a fresh perspective on life, but it requires time that's often hard to find in a busy schedule. What exercise do you enjoy? I enjoy jogging. It's a simple way to stay fit and clear my mind. Whether it's a quick run in the morning or a longer jog on the weekend, it always makes me feel energized and refreshed. Plus, it's a great way to explore new areas of my neighborhood. Do you prefer indoor or outdoor activities? I prefer outdoor activities. Being outside, whether it's for a walk in the park, a day at the beach, or a camping trip, always lifts my spirits. I love the fresh air and the sense of freedom that comes with being outdoors. How important is mental health to you? Mental health is extremely important to me. It's just as important as physical health. Taking care of my mental well-being helps me stay balanced, focused, and happy. I make sure to take time for activities that reduce stress and improve my mood. What is your favorite way to de-stress? My favorite way to de-stress is by practicing yoga. It helps me relax, focus on my breathing, and find a sense of peace. Yoga is a great way to stretch and strengthen my body while also calming my mind. Do you follow any specific diet? No, I don't follow any specific diet. I try to eat a balanced diet with plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. I believe in enjoying a variety of foods in moderation rather than restricting certain types. Eating should be about nourishment and enjoyment. What was your favorite subject in school? My favorite subject in school was English. I loved reading different stories and learning how to express myself through writing. English classes were always interesting because they allowed me to be creative and think critically. Are you learning anything new now? Yes, I am currently learning how to play the guitar. It's something I've always wanted to do, and I finally decided to start. It's challenging but very rewarding when I manage to play a song correctly. Who was your favorite teacher and why? My favorite teacher was Mrs. Thompson, my history teacher. She had a way of making history come alive. She didn't just teach us about dates and events, she told us the stories of people and cultures. 
Her passion for the subject was contagious, and she made me love learning about the past. How do you keep learning outside of formal education? I keep learning by reading a lot and taking online courses on topics that interest me. I also enjoy visiting museums and historical sites. Learning is a lifelong journey, and there's always something new to discover. What is something you wish was taught in schools? I wish schools taught more about financial literacy, like how to manage money, invest, and save for the future. It's such an important life skill that everyone needs, yet it's often overlooked in traditional education. How do you meet new people? I meet new people through hobbies and social events. Joining clubs or groups that interest me is a great way to meet others with similar interests. Whether it's a sports team, a book club, or a cooking class, these activities help me connect with new friends. What qualities do you value in a friend? In a friend, I value honesty, kindness, and a good sense of humor. It's important to have friends who are supportive and understanding. I also appreciate friends who share similar interests but can also introduce me to new perspectives and activities. How do you maintain long-distance relationships? To maintain long-distance relationships, I make sure to communicate regularly through calls, texts, and video chats. It's important to make an effort to stay involved in each other's lives and plan visits when possible. Trust and understanding are key to keeping the connection strong. What is your idea of a perfect day out with friends? My idea of a perfect day out with friends is exploring a new place together, like a museum or a park. We could have lunch at a nice cafe and then maybe see a movie or go to a concert in the evening. Spending quality time and making memories is what matters most. How has your social life changed over the years? Over the years, my social life has become more about quality than quantity. I prefer spending time with a close group of friends rather than going to big parties. As we've grown older, we've had to make more of an effort to stay in touch and plan get-togethers, but those moments have become even more special. Have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I have traveled abroad a few times. My first trip was to France. I visited Paris and saw famous places like the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre Museum. It was exciting to see a new country and learn about its culture and history. I enjoyed trying French food too. Traveling abroad is a great experience. What country would you like to visit? I would like to visit Japan. I've heard a lot about its beautiful landscapes, unique culture, and delicious food. I'm especially interested in seeing the cherry blossoms in spring and visiting ancient temples. The mix of traditional and modern in cities like Tokyo seems fascinating. Japan is definitely at the top of my list. What is the most interesting cultural difference you have experienced? The most interesting cultural difference I experienced was in Italy. Italians have a very relaxed approach to time, known as la dolce vita or the sweet life. Shops and restaurants often close in the afternoon for a few hours, and meals can last much longer than I'm used to. At first, it was a surprise, but I learned to enjoy the slower pace of life. Do you prefer travel in the city, nature, or the countryside? I prefer traveling in nature. I love the peace and beauty of natural landscapes. 
Hiking in the mountains or walking along the beach makes me feel happy and relaxed. Nature trips are a break from the busy city life. I enjoy the fresh air, seeing wildlife, and the stunning views that you can find only in natural settings. How do you prepare for a trip? To prepare for a trip, I start by making a list of things I need to pack, like clothes, a camera, and travel documents. I also research the place I'm visiting to find interesting spots, like museums, parks, or restaurants. I book my flights and accommodations in advance. Lastly, I try to learn a few words in the local language. It's helpful and respectful to know basic greetings and phrases. What kind of music do you like? I like a variety of music, but I'm especially fond of classic rock and indie. I love the storytelling in classic rock songs and the unique sounds of indie music. Music is a big part of my life, and I'm always looking for new artists to listen to. Do you prefer books or movies? I prefer books because they allow me to imagine the scenes and characters in my own way. Reading also helps me relax and unwind. While I enjoy movies for their visual storytelling, books have a special place in my heart. What app could you not live without? I couldn't live without a note-taking app. It's essential for keeping track of my tasks, ideas, and reminders. Being able to jot down thoughts as soon as they come to me helps me stay organized and productive. How do you stay safe online? To stay safe online, I use strong, unique passwords for my accounts and enable two-factor authentication whenever possible. I'm also careful about the information I share on social media and always keep my privacy settings updated. What is the last good book you read or movie you watched? The last good book I read was Educated by Tara Westover. It's a memoir about the author's journey from growing up in a survivalist family to earning a PhD from Cambridge University. It was inspiring and beautifully written.